Hey, what's up everyone? Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another video for you to watch. And today I'm gonna to talk about the, I guess, perfect vlogging camera, perfect compact vlogging camera, a camera that you can easily fit into maybe, probably not your pocket, but like a small bag, something easy to lug around. And you know, and you could confidently walk around, not lug around this big ass DSLR mirrorless full size, full frame mirrorless camera, or even APS-C. And a lot of people's alternative has been using a GoPro. The problem with GoPro or even DJI Action 2 is image quality obviously looks like a GoPro or DJI Action 2. I've covered this in another video where I showed the video quality of these action cameras, even though they're 5.3K with regards to the GoPro Hero 10 and 4K, the DJI Action 2, they still do not look great. Matter of fact, they're actually worse than 1080p of the camera I'm using right now, which is the Sony RX0 Mark II. And I'm currently filming in S-Log2 in 1080p HD. So I actually had this camera before and I recently just purchased this used at mbp.com for about 500 bucks. But I have another channel, it covers my truck, it covers me going fishing, and I wanted a nice rugged, waterproof camera that has better image quality than an action camera to do talking heads like this and to use it to film other sequences with higher video quality up to my standards in terms of like dynamic range the way the image is rendered whereas if you look at action cameras they're only good in nice daylight like this but they also are over sharpened regardless of how you set up the camera in like, you know, you turn on, you turn down sharpening. There's just a way those small sensors render the image that doesn't look great to me. Now, the only problem with the RX-02 when you first buy it out of the box is that it is only 24 millimeter lens. The problem with 24 millimeters, sometimes it is not wide enough. Good thing is though, you can rig up the RX-0 Mark II to your needs. In my case, I bought a 0.6 times wide angle lens attachment from Beast Grip. And I also bought an adapter for the RX-0 Mark II to put in the front of it to accept a 30, 37 millimeter uh, filter thread to adapt the uh, Beast Grip wide angle lens to it. Um, I believe the front mount uh, 37 millimeter thread uh, attachment for the RX-0 Mark II is made by a company called Moondog. I would have to double check on that. Links are in the description below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And a lot of people do complain about the battery life of the RX-0 Mark II. Again, if you are satisfied using a GoPro or a DJI Action 2 to like film videos like this, then that means you are more than okay shooting 1080p uh, on the RX-0 Mark II to film videos like this, which is what I'm doing now. That saves a lot of battery but more importantly, it saves on heat. Um, so if you film a lot of 4K on both action cameras and this RX-0 Mark II, you are going to possibly overheat the camera after, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, even at like a high heat setting uh, or high heat threshold setting. And so when you shoot 1080p, you kind of eliminate all those problems and you could pretty much film all you want. I have a 256 gigabyte uh, micro SD card in the RX-0 Mark II right now and I have 10 hours worth of recording so I could theoretically record the whole time and of course there's an issue with battery life I don't really have a problem with that either because I I'm using a grip right now that is actually a power bank plugged directly into the RX-0 Mark II and I could probably just film the whole entire day going out fishing doing what I got to do no problem filming videos like this no problem um Another issue previously about the RX-0 Mark II when it was released was the autofocus. It does not have continuous autofocus and it still doesn't have continuous autofocus. But the good thing is if I want to focus, I can just half press the shutter. It'll focus where it needs to go. Right, that worked. And then if I go back further, I could half press the shutter and it'll focus on me. And that's fantastic because this is an F4. Um, you are able to focus close, far, whatever, versus in the action cameras, it is set to like infinity focus. So even when you're talking to it, you're not really in focus. You are kind of like 
within a certain plane of focus, like probably the beginning of one is in focus. So sometimes it just doesn't seem like your face is in focus. The background looks like it's very sharp, but then when you look at your face, it is not as focused as you think it is. So I'm just here to prove a point pretty much that if you want a good compact, um, like high quality image from a one inch sensor type of uh, quality with the ability to focus on things you want to uh, by just pressing the shutter, the RX Zero Mark II is kind of the way to go. Um, it's kind of an underrated lens in that regard. Um, and yeah, like waterproof, super rugged. You could drop it, it won't get damaged. Of course, when you put this lens attachment, um, it's probably not gonna be as rugged. But you know, just for example, if I were to twist this lens off real quick to show you the focal length, when I take off the lens, Ready, one, two, three. This is the focal length of the RX0 Mark II without the lens and then with the lens. Let's see how easy it is for me to twist this back on. Just like so. And of course, I am filming an S-Log2, and yes, this is an 8-bit camera. You shouldn't be filming an S-Log2 in 8-bit cameras like they all say. But the reality is you can. So with S-Log2, you just gotta make sure you set the saturation really high or change like the gamma settings to uh, a Rec 709, like color gamut, whatever. And it should solve a lot of issues um, a lot of people have uh, grading with S-Log. So yeah, um, so far so good. This is going to be my rugged, going out, doing adventurous things, uh, vlogging camera, and of course just camera shooting things, you know, filming different stuff. And this thing is high quality. Um, great. Again, it's the same one inch sensor as like a ZV-1. Um, and it, I think it works great. All the items I use to rig up my setup will be in the links in the description. Um, hope this helps someone make a buying decision. All you fishermen, YouTubers out there, stop vlogging on your GoPro, your DJ Action 2s. They look like trash. I would highly suggest you upgrade to something like this if you're looking for something light and easy to carry. Until next time, lighten up. Hey man, you need a big cinema camera. Your toy camera look unprofessional. Nah man, it's way too cumbersome and it's not gonna produce anything better than I already do with my toy camera. No man, you need a big camera. Maybe FX6, FX9 or the Canon Cinema for the Canon color shine. Nah, I think I'm good, man. I'm getting booked just fine with my toy cameras. If you want to get paid more, look more professional. You need a big camera. Show me some of your work. Let me show you. Hi, my name Fook My Bit. I co-own up the Bit and Ho Pho restaurant. Apply for the pay book. I can get 5% off your order. Bro, that's a promotion for your own restaurant. B&H Photo is going to sue you for stealing their logo. Oh, no problem. It's Jewett Holiday Club.